Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science here at Arizona Science Center. And today I'm outside because, you know, it's only 106 degrees outside, so why not be outside? This might be pretty standard for summer here in Arizona, but I guarantee you we're gonna get a little hotter. By the end of this week, we'll be up to about 111 degrees. Matter of fact, with the humidity today is 22%, it already feels like 111 outside. So uh, we're gonna be pretty warm all summer long, and that should be no surprise. So I wanted to take a deeper look at one of the places you probably spend most of your time in the summer in Arizona, and that is your car. So let's take a quick look here. Um, this is a basically a giant box with glass. So as the sun beats down on your car, it's heating up the air inside. All that sunlight's passing through the glass right here. Oh, that's hot. Um, I'm not going to touch that bad idea. But uh, it heats up all that air inside like a greenhouse does, warming the air. So even though it's 106 outside, it might be even hotter inside. Sometimes, well, let's take a look at how hot. I've got my infrared thermometer today. We're gonna open up these doors and take a look. Now, when I started here at uh, Arizona Science Center, I had recently moved from out of state and I thought people were nuts for driving around with um, oven mitts on. Well, they weren't nuts. They were brilliant because 149 degrees. This car has been only sitting out here probably about less than an hour and already the sun has the air heated up so that that steering wheel is 149 degrees and it's beating directly onto the surface as well. Let's check the seat. So this is where you would sit. 134. I've done other readings just to check this. I've gotten up to 180 degrees already. So if you can imagine 180 degrees right where you sit, not somewhere I want a lot of heat. Other places, anything that's metal, even though here, my seatbelt buckle wasn't really in the sun 115 degrees just from ambient air temperature and if I shoot it in here let's see air temperature in here is about 128 so already about 22 degrees hotter than what the air temperature is outside the car you want to be really really careful while you're in the car so something else to note you don't want to leave many things in the car it can get really hot we already know that um, things like water bottle. Yes, you want to drink lots and lots of water. As you can tell, you got to stay hydrated because it helps you sweat just like I'm doing now. My body's naturally cooling itself off. You really want to stay hydrated, but if you keep water in your car, uh, sometimes the plastic can leach chemicals. If you, Certain types of plastic um, can leach chemicals into your water when it heats up. Also, if you've already opened it and taken a drink, you've introduced bacteria into the water and that bacteria can just grow and grow and grow in the heat. So something else you don't necessarily want to leave in the car. Other things that you don't want to leave in the car, things that are soft, like chapstick, deodorant, lipstick, those types of things, they're just gonna melt. Pens, the ink's gonna heat up and most likely leak out of your pen, so be smart about what you're leaving in your car. Pretty much don't leave anything in your car. In particular, don't leave anything that's pressurized, so cans, sodas, etc. Those can actually build up so much pressure, they can explode. We've already had reports this year of people who have had items go through the glass in their car because of all of that pressure. So again, think smart. Oh, one more thing, even sunscreen, which you would think you would want to protect yourself, and you definitely do want to wear sunscreen. Matter of fact, I wear so much sunscreen and stay out of the sun so much, I'm actually vitamin D deficient, not a joke, uh, but I'm working on that. And those of you who keep sunscreen in your car to protect yourselves, um, you actually don't want to keep it in the car because that heat can degrade all the chemicals that are keeping you safe um, and make it unsafe for you. So think about taking that with you, stick it in your gym bag, stick it in your backpack, take it with you into your purse, out of the car, every time you come in and out. So that sounds really scary. Your car is a great place to get you from point A to point B, but it is really hot in the summer, but let's find a way to embrace it. Let me close this door now. Any of you who've ever left crayons in the car, you know it can melt because crayons have a really low melting point. So we've embraced it with a little activity. So if you have an extra ice tray laying around, this one happens to be one of those great silicone ice trays, um, you want to take some leftover crayons. If you are at a restaurant and there's crayons laying out from um, one of those kids meals, um, or even if you happen to have just broken crayons at home, you can bring them back to life with a fun activity. Um, putting them, breaking them up either into similar colors or different colors and putting them into the wells of the ice tray, you can create your own crayons by just placing them into the back of a car for a while. You can do a little science experiment, test how long it will take and at what temperature. You can uh, use any thermometer, that'll work. Um, but just, yeah, breaking up the crayons. Here I've got a nice heart-shaped one and eventually they will melt. Here are past ones that we've done in the car. They melt all the way down and fill up the wells into these great, let's hope it's not too melty right now, this has been out here for a while, but into these great shaped crayons. 
just a little way to have some fun, embrace the heat, because hey, it's gonna be hot all summer long, why not do a little something fun with it? All right, so be careful out there, stay safe, use a little bit of sunscreen, stay hydrated, watch all that heat in the car, let me know what you're seeing in your area, and of course, come on down to Arizona Science Center and get any of your other questions answered about the heat or anything else uh, in this wonderful season. So check us out at azscience.org, and we'll see you next time with Sari on Science.